Good morning. Today we're going to show you how to do a simple job on a D3 AC traffic light supplied by Warehouse Direct Industrial. On the rear of the module you need to double check to make sure of the voltage as you see on this one so says input 90 to 240 volt AC. Now this module has been removed from its traffic light because it's much simpler to do this job on the bench. Today we're going to be using two screwdrivers, a standard Phillips screwdriver, but also we need to have a mini screwdriver which is a PZ0 times 60 to undo the top screws holding the lens in place. So first of all we shall remove the lens. While I'm removing the lens, I will tell you that just underneath the lens on one of the sides is a little notch and this notch is there to help you to relocate this lens when we go to refit it. We turn this around, there is the little notch Okay, and that's going to help us put that back afterwards. Okay, so inside the unit there is the cluster board. To remove the cluster board we need to take out one, two, three screws, which we shall do so now. It is much better to use a magnetic screwdriver for this job, otherwise we tend to lose the screws everywhere. So we take out the three screws like so and then we're left with the board in place. Sometimes it can be a bit stiff to get out, this one particularly isn't, but if it is you just stick your screwdriver in there and prise it up a little bit and then pull the board out. Now this is quite important this, where this board is actually positioned at the bottom here there's a clip holding in place. Please take note of which way around this fits into the clip, it'll only go one way and that is with a hook part at the bottom underneath this edge here. So we simply take out the board. At this point I will also talk to you about this part of the D3 module because this is the power board. This is the part which reduces the power down to feed the LEDs and if there is any requirement to replace this in future this also is held in place with three screws. Undo those screws, undo, pull the clip out, replace the board. It's quite straightforward. Okay, let's take away the old board and let's fit a new board into place. So making note of which way around this goes, we push it onto its clip. Now the top of this module is a much wider extrusion um, and that extrusion is there to help you relocate the board which has a deeper cut in it there. So we just position that like so. Get one of our screws. Place one in there. Once this module has been removed from the traffic light itself, it's easier, much easier to do this job on the bench. We're not actually timing this, but I don't think it probably is going to take more than about five minutes. Okay, so we're ready to put this lens cover back on. So we spin it round, we look for the notch, and the notch locator on the top lens. There it is, they press together like so. Out comes the mini screwdriver. Now it's best to screw these screws up diagonally because underneath this unit is a neoprene seal which is giving the light its IP65 rating. So we want to make sure that's sitting firmly on its seal. 
before we complete the job. There you go. One thing I could have mentioned before is that if you want to test it to make sure it's functional before you put the lid on, you can do so. We have a power tester here. Actually, simply put the correct polarity wires in together, switch it on, and there you go. Job done. Very simple, very easy. We look forward to seeing you again.